Hi guys, it's Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. Thanks for coming and watching this video. So the reason I'm standing in this spot, which actually doesn't have the greatest lighting, is because before I do the reading for you for this week, I really wanted to show you this old picture that I love. So this is of an old farmhouse and barn in upstate New York. And it was actually my great, great, grandmother's house and the reason I'm sharing this with you is because my grandmother's grandma so my great great grandmother is one of I believe my spirit guides that I felt around me for many years and um, I think a lot of times we will often have a spirit guide with us that is a family member that has uh, passed away a couple generations before we were born. So it's so special to me because and another really interesting thing about this picture is um, I love barns for whatever reason. They just really touch my soul. Um, and this picture was my grandmother's and it didn't have my name on it. Uh, she wrote down people's names on everything uh, in her house when she before she passed away to give to people. But I loved this picture and I never told her that, I don't think. So, you know, it wasn't meant to go to me, but I really, really, really wanted it. It was so special to me. It, also because of that great, great grandmother connection. So I remember speaking to my grandmother and this is, you know, way before my abilities have gotten as strong as they are and saying, grandma, if you're with me, send me a sign. Somehow get that picture to me. I really want it. Please send me the picture and I will know that you are right there with me. And so now I'm happy to say this is in my house and I love it. So the other thing is um, I'm not 100% sure if this is the right relative or not, but I, if it might be. I have... Um, I believe a great great grandmother who came over to the United States on the boat from Ireland and so getting to Ireland is something that I have wanted to do for a long time and what I love about the Irish are they are they have a big belief in elementals elementals are like fairies leprechauns and gnomes and stuff like that so there it's just way more accepted than it is here most people don't believe in that here and I really think there's many dimensions folded on top of one another. So I can't wait to get to Ireland eventually and be amongst that energy. Okay, so now I'm going to do the reading for you for September 26th through October 2nd. And I'm going to use the deck Loving Words from Jesus. Now, I love that Doreen created this deck because... I think for a lot of us in the spiritual world, sometimes we get a little uneasy talking about um, Jesus because he is part of a specific religion. And um, I really want you to know that it does, you don't have to be Christian to call in the energy of Jesus, which is incredibly powerful and loving and helpful. And in fact, a lot of times when I'm in my meditation, when I go to the special place that I go to, it's a garden. And... Um, Funny enough, I usually have to cleanse myself in a purifying water there, which I also have to do here in real life to uh, shed some of the energy that I absorb, especially if I'm around a lot of people. One time I took a two-hour bath. That's how many people I was around. Anyway, um, in my garden, Jesus will often come and visit me there and is very comforting and very loving. And so I want you to know that you don't have to be scared of it being a particular religion because... It's not Jesus' energy that is corrupt, okay? And you can call in the energy of many of those ascended masters to help you. So whichever ones really you relate to, which will help you. But one of my absolute favorite books is Discover the Power Within You by Eric Butter Butterworth. And I love it so much because it was the first book to really tie together my Christian upbringing with my, my actual internal spiritual beliefs and my belief in love as a religion. And the book teaches really what Jesus was truly teaching, 
not some of the corrupt stuff that you might be hearing in churches. Um, no offense, <laughs> but it's really about, Jesus is really teaching about the power you have within you. And so this book, Discover the Power Within You, really uh, addresses that and it really opened up my whole world. So if you're interested in reading something, I suggest that. So today we're just gonna get a loving message from the Jesus cards. And I'm sorry, you can't see me shuffling them because of the spot I'm in. But I'm just going to say a prayer and ask for guidance of a loving message that we can take into this week and think about and keep in our hearts. Okay, let's see what card wants to come up. Okay, we have two cards again. And sometimes this happens. Okay, so, oh, this is a really good one. Your faith has saved you, go in peace. I can't tell you how incredibly important it is to keep your faith, your belief in miracles, your belief in the oneness, your belief in something greater than yourself because faith is what will get you through any hard time because we're gonna hit obstacles in life. It's a part of being here in life school. It's the way it is. You're going to cross paths with souls that are here to help you out of love and teach you things and it's not always gonna be easy. So um, please, please, please hold on to your faith because it's everything. Okay, and the second message is this one. Your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. So this is really addressing the fact that God and your angels know that you have needs, that you are here in the earth plane with human needs and desires and wants. And basically what this message is saying to you is that know that God knows this, know that your angels know this, know that they want to fulfill those needs for you. But what you need to do is have faith and you need to really be in alignment with the complete belief and knowing that God will provide for you what you need. Not questioning it, knowing it. God will provide for you what you need. God wants your greatest, your greatest good. So whatever it is that you need in your life or want, please have faith that it's coming to you because when you know it's coming to you, it will. But you must surrender to divine, to divine timing, especially when other people's um, other people are involved, because it involves free will also. So, have faith. Please surrender to divine timing. Know that your needs will be met. Hope is right outside the door of manifesting, like right on the edge of manifesting. You want to get from hope to knowing it's going to happen. God is going to take care of your needs. Okay, guys, I hope you have an amazing week, and I'm so glad you joined me, and I can't wait to see you again next time. Come over to givelovecreatehappiness.com and sign up for email updates, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if there's anybody you think that would like these videos, I would really appreciate you passing it on. Bye, friends.